When Heather Jane first began experiencing symptoms of long COVID, she had no idea what was wrong. My acute phase of COVID was in the very early first wave, April 2020. And so, um, you know, for me, it was really hard to understand what was happening to my body. It's estimated that more than one third of COVID-19 sufferers will report continued symptoms like fatigue or breathing problems for months after their initial infection has resolved. And now researchers out of Australia are beginning to better understand who has been impacted. We found um, uh, when we looked at the blood and as well as us, uh, immune cells within these participants, that there was a, a dysfunction um, within the uh, immunological pathways. The discovery of a biomarker within a patient's blood could not only help develop a better tool to diagnose the illness, but could lead to better treatments as well. While researchers still don't know what causes long COVID, a leading theory is that parts of the virus can linger in the body, causing inflammation triggered by a prolonged immune system response. And according to another recent study, that inflammation can cause neurological symptoms for up to nine months. Young people who survived through COVID-19, despite the fact that they might didn't have any symptom or have the only mild symptom, months later, they still had a very mild impair, impairment in memory and attention. While there is still much to learn about this condition that for some can be debilitating, Heather Jane is trying to maintain hope. I'm a very different person now and I've been forever changed by this experience. Two years after her first infection, the Toronto woman is now recovering from COVID yet again, unsure of how this second round will impact her long-term health. Heather Urex-West, Global News, Calgary.